Hello, my gorgeous friends of Webflow. It's your friendly neighbor and Francesco from Supasido here. Do you remember that custom video pop-up we built together? The one that works flawlessly with Vimeo videos? Well, if you missed it, don't worry. You'll find the link in the description down below so that you can first watch it and then follow along with this video. But anyway, our custom video pop-up just got a quite interesting update. From now on, it supports YouTube video as well. Yeah. In this video, I'll walk you through how to make this tiny tweak to the solution we already built, so you can handle both Vimeo and YouTube videos with ease. So, if you're looking forward to it as I am, stick around, and if you're interested in learning more about Webflow or no-code tools, check out our courses on Supersite Academy. Link is in the description down below. And if you find my video helpful and want to support my work, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. But now, if you're ready, Let's dive in. We have the exact same project as last time with two instances of our pop-up turned into a component. And if we inspect the live link, we can open the first pop-up by clicking on this huge link inside the hero section, and we can close it by clicking anywhere outside of the pop-up, or we can open it up by clicking on the watch trailer button, and we can close it by using the close button. And we also have this link here to trigger the second pop-up with another video from Vimeo. But now let's go back to our project and let's say that this time uh, we want the first pop-up to host not a video from Vimeo, but a video from YouTube. Maybe a live exhibition of my favorite Japanese band, the Ryoko Shoku Shakai. How can we switch from Vimeo to YouTube? Well, let's first select the first instance of our pop-up, and we can see that actually nothing has changed. I mean, we still have this video link property that we just need to update with a video from YouTube. But the thing is, how can we get the right link from YouTube? Because we cannot simply copy paste the video from, I don't know, the top bar or clicking on the share button right under the video and grab the link from there. So we first open the YouTube video that we want to embed, and then we have to click on share. And instead of clicking here on copy, we need to click on this first button here on embed. We click on this button and we have to copy the link from here, but be careful. We don't have to copy the whole string. We have to copy from here, from HTTPS to the question mark. So we copy this string, we go back to our project and we can paste it here. But that's not enough because we need to enable the JavaScript API for YouTube so that we can use code to play and post video programmatically. And here we just need to type enable JS API equals one. And now finally we can publish our project and if we try to inspect the live link you can click on the huge link in the hero section and the video from youtube shows up let's close it let's click on the watch trailer button and everything works exactly as before and of course this link here that triggers the video from vimeo works exactly the same but now there's a tiny little thing that i added to this solution that is a property to change the color of the play button. And here we can use a simple string with the name of the color. Here we have white as the default value, but we can also use, of course, hexadecimal values. So let's say we want to use a blackish color. So something like, I don't know, let's write hashtag and then 111. Let's publish our project and let's quickly inspect the live link. And we can see here that now the play icon is kind of black. And last example, we can, of course, use RGB values. So we can write something like RGB and then between parentheses, I don't know, something random. One, two, three, then 45, and then, I don't know, 78. I don't know what this color is. Maybe some kind of purple. So let's refresh. Let's click on the link. Yeah, and we have this purplish color. And that's it. We saw how without absolutely any changes to the configuration of the previous solution, we can seamlessly embed YouTube videos in our pop-up. 
And we also find the time to add a brand new property to our component that we can use to change the color of the play icon. Of course, a link to the clonable for this project is available in the description down below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more Webflow tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Matane!